If you are a Poco F1 user and want to experience stable stock Android on your device that could be used as a daily driver, then you are watching the right video. The good folks at Resurrection Remix has ported a stable audio build for Poco Phone F1 which I am testing since last 24 hours. The Resurrection Remix is one of the most popular aftermarket ROMs available for dozens of Android devices. The ROM is quite popular among the users due to its stability, performance, excellent battery backup and most importantly its customization capabilities through which you can customize almost every aspect of your device. More on that in the later part of the video. So in this video, I am going to do an in-depth review of this ROM in which I will discuss about the performance, stability, battery backup, features and is it stable enough to use it as your daily driver. Plus, if you will stick to the end, I will be showing a step-by-step -step guide to install this ROM on POCO F1. Excited? So let's get started. The Resurrection Remix ROM is basically a remix of the best features found in AOKP, Lineage and Paranoid Android ROMs, meaning you will get the best of all. The Resurrection Remix ROM comes with its own iteration of Pixel Launcher which provides many useful and advanced features like you can change the icon and the grid size. Additionally, you can play with many options such as enable feed integration, swipe down to show notifications, change icon shapes, etc. The home screen is very stockish as well as the rest of the UI. In my usage, I didn't face any lag while switching between the apps and the overall experience is just buttery smooth. Overall, in terms of UI, there is nothing really eye-catching or unique about the Resurrection Remix until you enter the configuration menu in the settings. If you know your way around, I can be sure you would have no trouble changing the UI to look the way you want. There are numerous settings here for you to tinker with and if this is your first time using a feature packed custom ROM like Resurrection Remix, you might be overwhelmed at just how much you can change. If you love customization, this configuration menu is what heaven would be like. From what happened when you double tap your home button to letting any text be displayed in your Android status bar, there is next to nothing you can't change. Even the little things you might never thought you would want to play around with, like the animation when you toggle a quick setting can be changed and you will love it. Now while I was going through the settings, I found this add gesture option which basically hides the conventional navigation buttons and enable the gesture based navigation. The gesture based navigation is quite similar to what we have seen in MIUI. Swipe from the bottom will take you to the home screen, swipe and hold will trigger the recent menu and swipe from bottom left or bottom right to go back. It's really good to see that developers have implemented this feature but I think it's still half baked and needs some refinements. So in short, you can customize the status bar, notification panel, recent menu, quick settings, lock screen, gesture, navigation keys, animation, interface and some miscellaneous ones. I can make a whole 10 minute video in explaining just the features and customization that this ROM has to offer. Would you be interested in that? Do let me know in the comments down below. Moving forward to its performance and battery life. The performance of Resurrection Remix ROM is actually quite better than the stock MIUI ROM that comes out of the box with Pocophone F1 and that's why I'm using this ROM as my daily driver due to its stability. The quicker animation of this ROM make things look better as compared to stock MIUI ROM and personally I don't like these highly skinned Android version like MIUI as they consume much more RAM than the stock ones and that is the reason why Resurrection ROM feels very light and snappy. Everything on this ROM is working like a charm, like the fingerprint scanner, camera and for those who are wondering the Volt is working or not, then yes, it's working just fine. Talking about its battery life which I think is insane, as before installing this ROM, I was using the stock MIUI 10 beta ROM which has a very good battery life. But after using this ROM, I can clearly say that this ROM has slightly better battery backup than the MIUI. In my day-to-day -day usage which include couple of hours of gaming, zipping between different social media apps and normally taking some calls, I was getting anywhere around 7 hours of screen on time which is quite enough to get me running throughout a day and is still about 30% juice left. So all in all the ROM is pretty stable to use this as your daily driver and I did not encounter any bug or random reboots in my testing period. The only downside is the camera app. The ROM comes with a stock Google camera app which is by no means a good camera if we compare it with the MIUI camera. You can install the ported Pixel 2 camera app which will slightly improve the image quality but still it lacks many features like no portrait mode and other video features are also not working. There is no doubt that Resurrection Remix is one of the best custom ROMs available and the best thing that I liked about this ROM is a large community and the updates are very constant. 
So if you're looking for a ROM that offers tons of customization option and it still gives you a stock experience, then I will highly suggest you to install this ROM and you won't regret. Now let's see how you can install this on your Poco Phone F1. The prerequisites are, first, your bootloader should be unlocked, second, you should have pre-installed TWRP recovery. Now, if you don't have an unlocked bootloader and pre-installed TWRP recovery, then I'll be leaving the link of that video in the description down below that I made specifically for Pocophone F1, so do check out. Now first, you have to download the ROM zip file and the gapps package from the description down below and put it in the internal memory of your device. Now once that is done, boot your device into TWRP recovery mode and for that, first switch off your device. Now in order to boot into TWRP recovery, you have to press and hold the volume up plus power button until you see this logo. So after successfully booting up into TWRP recovery, the very first thing that I always recommend is to make a backup of your current ROM. Because in case you don't like the ROM or you want to go back to your previous ROM, then go to restore section and from there you can restore the previous ROM. It's as simple as that. So after the backup is done, go back and click on wipe then advanced wipe. From here select Delvix system data cache and swipe this blue button to right. This will basically wipe the system partition and make your device ready for ROM installation. Once that is done, go back and click on install and navigate the ROM zip file which we downloaded earlier and select it. Then click on add more zip file and select the gapps package. Now swipe this blue button to right in order to flash the ROM zip file and the gapps package. The installation will take anywhere between 2 to 3 minutes so just relax. Once installation is done, reboot your device. The first boot will take around 5 minutes which is quite normal. So wait till the boot is finished. Now as you can see we have successfully installed Resurrection Remix ROM. Now just set up your device and you are done. So guys that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do then do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.